Hi, good evening, everyone. Let's have a look at CUET question of the day. So you're given uh, this information that the tax revenue is uh, this much. And then you're given, so tax revenue is the revenue that comes out of tax. Now this is going to the center. Then you have non-tax revenue, like tolls and other things, right? So this is the non-tax revenue given to you. Then you have capital receipts. Capital receipts are those receipts which involve any asset or liability. So when you sell an asset, capital receipt. When you um, you know go ahead and you take a liability, capital receipt. Then recovery of loan is given to you. Other receipts are given to you. Borrowing and other liabilities are given to you. Non-planned expenditure on revenue account is given, right? Of which interest payment. So out of the non-planned expenditure, this much is going in as interest payment. Similarly, non-planned expenditure on capital account is also given to you. And then planned expenditure on revenue and capital account is given to you. And GDP of the economy is given to you. Right? So these are some of the information that are available to you. Now, based on this, there are several questions that we want to answer today. The first one says, Plan expenditure to GDP ratio is. So, beta, what is planned expenditure given as? Planned expenditure is uh, here and here. So, 442273 plus 113049 upon 12. GDP is this one two eight. This is a comma. One two eight three nine nine five two. So one two eight three nine nine five two into hundred. When you solve this beta, you will get the answer as four point three two percent. So the planned expenditure to GDP ratio. The answer will be that it is 4.32%. Now let's go to the next question. It says capital expenditure to GDP ratio is. So if I go back and I look at the capital expenditure, the capital expenditure is uh, here. Non-planned expenditure but on capital. And then the other capital expenditure that I see is this planned capital expenditure. But don't know the capital pay, right? Whether it is planned or unplanned, the two things are happening on the capital, right? So because let's add the capital expenditure in the two cases. So capital expenditure upon GDP. This will be one double zero triple one plus one one three zero four nine upon the GDP of the economy which is given in this case as one two eight three double nine five so this will come down if you solve to one point six six into hundred six six percent so the answer will be Let's go to the next question, beta. Revenue deficit to GDP ratio is. So what is revenue deficit? Revenue deficit. Will be revenue expenditure minus receipt. So if I talk about revenue expenditure in this case, Revenue expenditure is uh, here. Planned expenditure on revenue, 442273. And revenue expenditure is uh, 
here non planned revenue expenditure and revenue receipt is uh, so revenue receipt is this beta tax revenue hmm? this is revenue receipt right so because uh, this does not involve any asset or liability hmm? this is revenue receipt now when it talks about other receipt and uh, when it talks about non tax revenue non tax revenue can come if if i earn revenue by selling an asset also so it does not talk about capital receipt but because we are not sure whether this is revenue or non revenue i will not take this so non planned expenditure on revenue and planned expenditure on revenue ye do revenue expenditure ho jayenge so expenditure will be 1107781 1107781 plus 442273273 minus and receipt i will take as this because tax wala part is for sure a revenue side it's not a capital revenue so it is a revenue receipt it's not a capital receipt so the answer will be uh, 986417 minus 986417 divided by the uh, the divided by the gdp so gdp was 1283952 into 100 So if you solve this, you will get the answer as four point three eight percent. So answer will be none of the above, right? Okay, come to the next part, beta. Now it is asking fiscal deficit to do GDP ratio is. So when I talk about fiscal deficit, then the fiscal deficit is total expenditure minus total receipt. excluding borrowings total expenditure minus total receipt excluding borrowing so total expenditure will be let's start from the top it will be this non planned expenditure plus it will be this plus it will be this plus it will be this so these four items these are my expenditures right so total expenditure in this case will be 1107781 plus 100111 plus 442273 plus 113049 this is my total expenditure these four items planned or non planned if it is an expenditure capital or uh, revenue expenditure does not matter if it is an expenditure you will take that so that's the total expenditure now let's talk about the total receipt so receipt beta is uh, this this is my receipt this is my receipt this is my receipt A recovery of loan is my receipt this is my receipt borrowing excluding borrowing everything is your receipt so in your receipt you will go ahead and you will take these time these items right so when it comes to receipt you will add all of these items together so minus 986417 plus 180714 plus 596083 beta i have this table open in front of me please pause the screen initially and write this entire table down upon gdp so if you solve this you will get the answer as minus 0.53% so answer will be none of the above it will not be minus 5.3 it will be minus 0.5 hmm okay so so the next thing is this this i am leaving up to you to solve so just give me the answer to this question 
what will be the primary deficit of the of the economy this is what i'm asking out of four you have to give me the answer primary deficit to gdp ratio right so i'm just going to take you again through the table please pause your screen note down this table completely and then give me the answer for primary deficit to gdp ratio okay thank you 